Hey, it's Steffi J here. I am a hot mess because of the pool. Okay, so talk to you about Great Wolf Lodge in Kansas. This is a wolf pass. And with the wolf pass, you get one Magic Quest game. Well, the game runs through the whole entire hotel. Um, you get your choice of a wand. A wand, a standard top, a magic belt, or a compass. You don't get all of them. So, you get a wand, but nothing on the top. And there's your sensor. And your top piece will run you between $18 and $20, and then they give you 25% off for having the wolf pass, which still isn't much. Um, each one of the... They light up, they do something different. Or you can have a little, um, they put a little ball on the top if you don't buy one. <clears throat> okay, so then it also includes a character station um, thing, which is like going to build a bear, but way, way, way smaller and very little choice of what you can get. So, there's a penguin, and a husky, dragon, is what you get, and a couple wolves. You get a round of the howling mini golf, but it's snowing outside, so why bother? And they don't give you anything else in place of it. You get 20 arcade points to play with. When you get a $20 arcade card, everything that you play is either four paws or higher. That means dollars, four dollars and up. Then you get a container of candy. Um, Jaden, hand me your container of candy right there. <laughs> so you go into the candy shop and you get to, um, Fill up a container to the top with um, the candy that's in the wall, and this is your this is the size of your container. This is what you get, and the lid has a hole in it for a straw if you want to use it for a cup later. Then you get um, a pair of goggles. Do you have yours? They're just regular goggles. Um, they do have. Cool ones down there, but they're not then you get you don't get none of the free one none of the really cool ones for free. Like the mermaid one. Um let me see your bracelet. What? Your bracelet. Then you get to go into um the um gift shop. You get one of these bracelets and they'll put your name on it or whatever you want it to say in whatever color you want. So you get that and then um, you also get one scoop of ice cream, one scoop, and then you get a tattoo. Well, the tattoo guy was not available to do the tattoos because he said he was closed at eight o'clock. And the um, the little shop that I hear so much about, the little um, sweet shop, it was um really really small i've seen it online and it's big but it was really small you also get a pair of these when you get here get a pair of these ears right here oh my gosh my hair okay so you get a pair of these except jaden's has a big crown in the middle because it's got her happy birthday thing on it um okay so we ordered the bedtime the bedtime pack, which gives you, you get this little backpack, connected to it is this little keychain, it says story time, it's connected to it, inside that you will find you can grab that, side over here. 
you get a book. This is the story of the Great Wolf Lodge. And then you get to pick what character you want. And Madison picked, I believe this is the girl. Yeah, this is the girl. The girl. And then they also get a blanket. Madison, show your, blan show your blanket. And there's your story time blanket that you get. Oh, story time blanket. And that is thirty something dollars. Then you pay for the birthday pack. Well, all that we got was a poster on our door, and she got those balloons. And that was pretty much um, all that we got with the wolf pass. You don't get the birthday stuff or the sleeping time stuff. And. <clears throat> I will tell you that when we got here, um, they were rude. Um, down at the, I love you, down at the, um, build a wolf or whatever, whatever there is. Um, the lady down there was really nice. Um, older lady, she was really nice. Um, a guy actually stepped up into my husband's face this uh, black guy and he said he was at, my husband asked what time the pool closes and he said not um he said eight o'clock sharp and then just uh, jumped up in his face so we just went to our room and then um it really i mean it was really bad we were in our room at nine o'clock and we had a little glow in the dark there's a little glow-in-the-dark ball, and we were tossing it back and forth, and security came to our door and said there were several complaints that we were being loud, which is really weird because we weren't being loud, and um, then he said that we were burning something in here, which, candles or something, which we weren't. I had put um, some chili in the microwave, and then I dump it in those little bags of Fritos and sprinkle cheese in it, and it's a walking taco. I had cooked that. And, um, so, um, after that incident, we went out into the hallways, which you can walk the hallways until 11 o'clock at night. So we walked the hallways doing the quest until 11, 10, and then we came back to our room and we had to be super, super quiet. Um... If you look on the website, it says the rooms are pretty much soundproof, but they are not. And um, then also, um, we um, had an incident with another employee uh, being extremely rude. Um, don't know why. Um, everything that they do here... Like, all the different times that you can go down into the lobby and do different things. Your kids need to be little. And I mean little. Because mine's 11 and she wasn't into any of it. Um, actually, she turned 12. And then the 8-year-old, she wasn't even into much of it. Um, <clears throat> but, like I said, it was... Um, it was, I think we paid over $800 to be told that we have to be quiet walking across the floor or in our room at 9 o'clock at night. So, um, the guy that works in the Quest um, room, I did not get his name, but he has short, um, dark hair. He's hilarious. Um, he'll help you with your Quest if you need help, but... The rest of them. Actually, I think the best place to find somebody that's going to be kind to you is in the quest shop. Other than that, no, not really. Um, if you hear the howling at the pool, it means get out. But as far as um, 
I would say as far as a vacation, driving six hours to where I'm at, um, I will never do it again. I will never come here again. I want nothing to do with Great Wolf Lodge in Kansas City. Um, I was told Texas has a good one, but I'm never doing this again. Not personally. I've never paid so much for a night in a hotel, multiple nights in a hotel, and been treated like crap and been told to go to my room and shut the heck up and be quiet to go across the floor. So, my opinion is, if you're going to go to Great Wolf Lodge, after all the videos I watched of all the fun it is, don't go to Kansas. I've seen some bad videos and I thought they were just saying it to be saying it and um, no. I would never do it again. You couldn't pay me to come back here. So, um, yeah, it's really small. Um, it's not worth the price. And unless you've got little ones that you're going to put to bed and go to bed yourself at 9 o'clock, you really can't even be in your room. So, this was a really crappy birthday for my kid with all that we've had to deal with and the rudeness and everything else. And um, even the pool part, um, I mean, you're looking at two feet, three feet. The deepest is four, like four foot four, oh my God. I mean, it's it's not worth it. And you get a coffee pot and you don't get, you get a coffee maker, but not a coffee pot. Who, who does that? Anyways, yeah, I would never again, would I go to the ones in, one in Kansas. So we are checking out and we are heading home. I'm going take this hot mess of myself and go home and get a shower and I will be heading on another trip soon going to Disney and I know that's got to be better than this well this is the Johnson mob like subscribe share and from us to you God bless have a good night